couple driven to the brink of divorce by their struggle to control their eight-year-old son's violent rages were finally able to reconnect after getting to the bottom of his behavior issues with a little help from his drawing book. Adrian, 46, and wife Emma, 37, who live on Barry Island, South Wales, parents to Sorrel, 11, and 8-year-old Ian, told how his outbursts often turned bedtime into a six-hour-long ordeal. His aggressive behavior often saw him lashing out at his parents, kicking, biting, and punching until they were covered in painful bruises and teeth marks. Child psychologist Laverne Antrobus, who visited the family for Tuesday night's episode of Channel 5's Violent Child, Desperate Parents, was astonished when she witnessed how Emma resorted to physically restraining her screaming son in a bid to calm him down. Laverne told Adrian and Emma how an important key to understanding Ian, who has a developmental age of three, lay in his drawings of his family, which showed him standing between his parents, with his mother looming large, and his father at a distance. The psychologist explained how it indicated that Ian was stuck in a developmental phase, where mummy belongs to me, and told the couple it was essential they work as a team to bring his behavior under control. One of Ian's drawings up on the wall showed him standing between his parents, and not only had he drawn his mother larger than his father, he had made her central to the family by sketching his father at a distance almost at the edge of the drawing paper. Laverne explained what it had implied. He is stuck in a developmental phase where mummy belongs to me and daddy can sit in the corner. I know as a psychologist it is pretty much part of the deal that a very young child closely allies with a parent of the opposite gender. That is absolutely ordinary, but what seems to have happened in this family is that you haven't been able to help him get out of that, she told the parents. Ian was well behaved at school, but that at home it was a different story, with the eight-year-old screaming and shouting for his mother for hours on end. His parents explained that he had destroyed their home, banging doors so hard he left holes in the wall, and jumping up and down so ferociously that a radiator came loose from its fixtures. When Laverne arrived at the family home in the program, which sets out to help parents struggling to manage their difficult children, she watched as Ian had a meltdown when he was asked to turn the volume down on the TV. He immediately launched an attack when his mother tried to calm him down, biting her on the shoulder which left her in tears. Later, when Emma attempted to turk him into bed, he had another violent episode, prompting Emma to wrap her arms and legs around him to gain some control, a move that concerned Laverne. I have very rarely seen a parent use this level of physical restraint, it's far too physical, and I can't see how it helps with Ian's behavior, she said. Ian is being restrained, and that feels completely wrong to me, and in fact he is more violent because of it," she added. The divided couple admitted they had been left feeling broken and defeated by their son's temper tantrums.
we are struggling in so many ways, and it has caused so many arguments, we don't know if we can carry on, Emma said. Laverne issued new rules for the parents to follow the most important being to unite as one and deal with iron as a team. Adrian needs to be upstairs helping Emma to show him he has two parents, she said. He needs to see you as a couple. He needs to know that his coming in between you is coming to an end. If you carrying on letting him, your marriage will come to an end, she said. Emma took a back seat to allow Adrian to form a closer bond with his son, who in turn had the opportunity to spend time with his father and to learn that he had two parents and not one. The new regime improved Ian's behavior so much that the couple were able to leave the children at their grandparents and enjoy a date for the first time in years. After facing Ian's problems head on the family had a renewed sense of passion for wanting to help him develop and grow. Instead of letting him stay in his room for hours on end staring at a computer they took Ian outdoors to take part in physical activities. The youngster began to learn how to ride a bike and started swimming lessons with his father alongside him. After nearly two months of the new regime Laverne returned to the family to show them old footage of Ian's violent outbursts. Revisiting the traumatic moment was too much for Emma who was so distressed at the sight of her restraining her child she had a panic attack and vowed never to do it again. I just can't believe how bad it was not seeing him like that, we were making matters worse, she said. We are not doing that to him again. Laverne had even more good news, after asking Ian to draw another picture, this time reflecting how he saw his family now. Children's drawings are often quite illuminating and I've noticed every time I came into the house it really tells how Ian has felt needing to be between the two of you, she explained. Revealing the new piece of artwork Laverne said Ian had started with his father, then mother, adding his sister Sorrel and then himself. He's put himself with his sister and left you two together. He's no longer feeling like this, a developmentally and emotionally delayed young boy who has to somehow get his way in between his mum and dad. He can just be himself.